Hey guys, today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most hated monsters in Summoner's War. Number 10, Tiomar. Everybody who's played Summoner's War know what it's like to get violent propped over and over again by Tiomar. The problem is that Tiomar is really popular in every content. That's why we see a lot of Tiomars. And as we know, the more we see something, the more we get sick of it, right? Don't get sick of looking at me though. Same thing with Perna, people encounter a lot of Perna and Tiomars in Guild War content and they get pride and proc all the time, that's why it's frustrating for them. Basically, the more you see someone every day, the more you're sick of them. That's why most Marriott's tend to fail in the force. Damn, I have one sexy Tio though. Look at that, look at that. Nobody cares! Diana. Now where do I begin with this son of a... The frustration that Diana gives is in RTA. You will always have butterfly in your stomachs every time she gets a turn. We never know how many turns it's gonna take. Only God knows. Come to us actually limits the amount of foreign proc to only once per unit per turn. But Diana is able to find a loophole, laugh at come to us, and then take endless turns. She takes two turns, all is forgiven. She takes three turns, oh shit! She takes four turns, that's when I throw my phone to the wall. And dang, phone are expensive these days. Jian. Jian is a nightmare to fight in Guild, Sieges, and War. And if you build your Jian like mine on Violent, she's able to permanently provoke the opponent so bad that they're gonna get AFK warning and the game's gonna kick them out. <laughs> also, her leader skill right here makes it so annoying to land defense break and kill her. This makes Guild War content and Sieges content quite annoying to be honest. Hence why people hate her. Number 7 on our list is Orion. You don't think I was about to forget about this prick, do you? This thing may be a support, but he can easily solo anyone with her ridiculous stat skill. If this Orion win me right here, this game is dumb. This game is dumb if this Orion win me right here. This is a dumb game. What the actual? No, no, no. Oh my god. Matisson is not moving, right? He's not moving. And very high chance. Very high chance an Orion can kill a Rakan. I'm very sure that's gonna happen. Because this game is stupid. This game is too- Oh no no no, it's, it's happening. It's happening. I need to get my, my thing. I need to get this thing up. Okay, crit please, crit. No crit. No, please don't- Please, please. Oh my god, no. No, no, no. This game is stupid. This is a fucking- Where is the revenge and crit? You revenge and crit Theo every single day. Why not now? Oh my god, this is a stupid game. This is a stupid game. No, 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 no. Oh my god. God, are you fucking kidding me? This is just, uh, it's so hopeless. You can't do anything about it. Like there's no revenge proc. There's nothing. Come on, come on, don't take. Come on, come on. Just a few more, one more crit hit, and you can, you can. Oh, come on, please. I've come so far. I've come so far, Rakan. Please, no, 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 no. Miho! This thing is cancer everywhere, but mostly RTA. It's really frustrating when she's the only last one standing there. You have four monsters right there, and everybody just keeps on creating on her, and they die one by one to her rat. It just feels unfair. Especially if you're using a support like Fran and Lauren, and then they just for some reason create. That's when your blood sugar rises to the top. <laughs> Look at her. Hence why she's one of the most hated monsters in Summoner's War. I'm pretty sure she's now being hated in Guild War content too. The best way to deal with her is Ciara and Raki, but you know Ciara is just so stupid, never lands her bomb, and Raki is just hard to use. Number 5 on our list is Hathor. I don't have Hathor so we have to go to the monster box. Jeez, look at her, judging me already. Now the reason people hate Hathor is that she's the number 1 most pick and number 1 most banned in RTA. She's just unfair. CC units are supposed to be countered by immunity, not her. She's gonna strip your immunity, put you to sleep. So stupid, you know? What the heck? And then once she gets her third skill down, it's basically over. Tear her up with Ganymede, she's gonna be unstoppable. And then you'd feel like you're not playing at all. Only the other person on the other side somewhere we don't know is playing the game. You just only get to watch. <laughs> That's why she's hated. This thing needs a nerf, in my opinion. Except if I pull her, then she doesn't need a nerf. Personally, Hathor is my number one most hated monster in Summoner's War since I make RTA content mostly. 
Hator, you is ugly, you is fat, you is bitter, you is stupid, you is obnoxious, you is... Hey, stop! Number 4 on our picks, we have Rina. Rina is a disaster at Arena Defense. She's the most annoying tall monster ever in Summer 4. Though nowadays her role is actually being replaced by Miho. You see a lot of Miho on Arena Defense more than you see Rina. I guess Miho is stronger, I Her passive, guys. It's just so thick and you cannot kill her with Lucian, you cannot kill her with your cliff. It takes a lot of time, especially during Arena Rush and you just cannot finish her off. <laughs> it's the most frustrating feeling ever. Number 3 on our picks is K-Moon. <laughs> this thing is the perfect condom to your squishy monsters. Ew. Not only does he provide thick seal every turn to your units, her second seal actually hurts a lot if you build your K-Moon like mine with some crits and some hit speed. This thing actually makes Guild War harder to do for mid and new players. Until they can find a way to deal with K-Moon, they'll be stuck farming guild points, fighting fooders. <laughs> That's why we hate him so much. I do hate him still guys. Even at top rank, K-Moon defense is still everywhere. Just look at our sieges. K-Moon here, K-Moon there, K-Moon here. K-Moon, Tiomar. These two are scary together. And guess what? They're both hated. Also, there's someone else who's gonna make this com even more hated. And she is on our second list. <laughs> Chasun! Give a hand to Chasun, guys. Kaemun, Tiomar, Chasun. These three are the most hated com in the game. Well, Tiomar is the top 10. Kaemun top 3, Chasun top 2. Guess what? Tiomar, Kaemun, Chasun together. Hate all over the place. Together, just make life very hard in Guild War. I mean, I don't have to worry about this comm anymore since I'm already late game, I have a lot of counter to this comm, but for the mid game players and the new players, I'm really sorry man, on behalf of come to us. <laughs> Imagine working hard to kill a squishy unit, only to have Chasun heal her back to full all the time, and then when she does, she's gonna get full attack bar, and then proc back into more heals, making it impossible for mid players and newbies to actually finish off the Chasun com. And guess what? The most popular Chasun com is K-Moon, Tiomar, and Chasun. Good luck killing that. The best way to kill Chasun is to either one-shot her or leave her for last. But yeah, Fallen Blossom, Fallen Blossom, Fallen Blossom every turn. How is that not frustrating? How is anyone supposed to love you, Chasun? How are you ever gonna find true love? Before we reveal our number one spot, here are some honorable mentions. Number one is Antares, and yes, this is totally biased. Antares is actually very frustrating. Well, you don't see him at Guild Wars, you will only see him at Real Time Arena, so rejoice people. But once you get there, you see him, that's when your hair's gonna turn white. You know, I I think I lost count at how many hairs turn white thanks to this guy while I was playing uh, RTE. Wow, this thing yeah, is frustrating to fight against and also frustrating to use. You know how it works, right? Every time somebody takes turn, Antares is gonna have a 15% chance to proc. And then it gets higher and higher until he actually procs. He is the god of RNG. You thought RTA is about skill? Guess again. Well, personally, I think he ruins RTA for me. It just feels like he always proc when you fight against him, but never procs when you use him. That's why most people hate him in real-time arena. Nobody likes to play against RNG guys. Not at the stage of the game, where they say the skill is most required. Do you agree with our list? Let me know in the comment section. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye!